Well, that was kind of cool. This is the 2003 Bionicle game. I came across this on eBay and thought, eh, why not? My knowledge of Bionicle is pretty minimal. I remember them on the shelves of, like, every toy aisle, but I never got them. I don't even remember asking my parents for them. The commercials were full of action with a narrator that explained a pretty intense-sounding plot. On the island of Matanumi, an ancient warning of great beasts. Beware, the Rai have come for your masks. The Toa must face the terrifying jaws of Kani Ra. The striking blows of Tarakawa. And the mighty claws of the Manas. Can you find the power? Bionicle. Batteries not included. Each set sold separately. But the more you heard it, the more it sounded like gibberish. Here I am now playing the Bionicle game with little context. I have no attachment to the toy line and have barely any idea what's going on with the lore. I've never seen the movies either. So let's play it. My raw footage is 2 hours and 14 minutes long. You could totally beat this game faster. There's times where I stop to take notes or, you know, trying to get cool screenshots. And there's times where I got up and walked away from the computer. There's also segments that I failed multiple times. This game is so short. It's incredibly short. I can't believe how short this is. So the game is two hours long. At least it's a good two hours, right? Well... Let's start with the basics. The main menu is pretty cool. The best part is that it includes a lore section. So if you're really out of the loop, you can refer to these little snippets. Now, of course, these days you could read a wiki or find a video, but back in the day, this was probably pretty cool. All the lore up until this point in one place. The character select is actually the levels, so these are blocked because you have to get to a certain spot in the story. Still a cool little menu, but you'll never use it if you're playing from beginning to end. The first level is the fire elemental dude. Immediately you'll notice the controls suck. Unless I'm missing something, there's no mouse look, so I broke out a controller thinking this would solve the problem, man, only partially. The camera is inverted. No matter how much I remap the controls, the camera just refuses to not be inverted. Even when you get used to it, it seems like the camera never does what you want it to do. Thankfully, there's a targeting button that remedies part of the problem. But yeah, the, the camera the camera's awful. This is an issue when most of the game is platforming. The platforming is unreliable. It's hard to tell when you made a good solid landing. It can also be difficult knowing where you're supposed to go, which isn't a huge complaint in retrospect because the game is so short. So the few times I got lost, I added to the game's length, you know? Then you got the combat. As alluded to earlier, each level is a different character. You do play as the fire dude twice, but other than that, you play as a bunch of different people. However, all these characters fight the same way. Two characters have special movement options. One can swim, and the other can glide. Beyond those differences, they all play the same. They move the same speed, they have the same attack despite carrying different weapons, your health is the same, the energy meter is the same, it's just a different coat of paint. You've got a normal attack which shoots a little light ball thing. Do it in succession and you'll shoot like three. I have no footage of this because I rarely found a viable time to do it. There's a shield button and if you absorb enemy attacks it refills your energy bar. Hold the shield button down and you can recharge it while leaving yourself vulnerable. This is the deepest the game goes. The energy drains pretty quickly which means you have to absorb enemy attacks. There are pickups that restore it but in the middle of the fight you need to master the shielding. Most enemies go down quickly. The difficulty is usually being attacked while platforming, or they try to overwhelm you with numbers, or it's a boss fight that's kind of hard to predict. Sometimes it's just cheap. Like, the level transitions will just throw you into a mosh pit of death. I don't know, I, in the end, it's, it's all very boring and kind of disappointing. The characters have their own personalities in the lore and with their own specialties, but here they're interchangeable. They're all pretty much the same with the exception of one can swim and one can glide. The game was developed by Argonaut Games. They were a hit and miss developer. They had some super highs and really lows. Bionicle was a commercial failure and this was the beginning of the end for them. SWAT Global Strike Team is a game I have a soft spot for, but it was another big commercial failure. And Catwoman was sort of the nail in the coffin. There were some mediocre games in between, but I think these three are the big reasons for their studio shutting down. This is unfortunate because one thing you'll notice in all of Argonaut's games are the environments. Here on Bionicle, the levels are pretty. The graphics are good for 2003. The character models are detailed. This game has some charm to it, and I don't know much about Bionicle, but it looked like they put all the characters they could in this thing. But unfortunately, the gameplay is just stale. Like, as much as I want to complain about the length, I feel like if it was any longer, my mixed feelings would turn more negative. I was already getting sick of the gameplay loop. Maybe one day I'll talk about Bionicle Heroes. I played the DS version, but never the PC port. 
There's also a fan project going on, too. Eh, we'll, we'll see. As always, huge shout out to the patrons. Links are in the description to the OSTs I used and stuff like the fan project I just mentioned. Let me know if there's any games you'd like to see covered. Also, let me know how you feel about this Bonacle and other Bonacle games. I wouldn't mind hearing what a fan of the toy line has to say about these games. Like, are they are they better if you have some context or some nostalgia? Probably, but I'd like to hear it come from you. But until then, I will see all of you in the next episode of whatever that may be.